Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another SB200 here. I started working on it to diagnose it. Had the Harbach kits put in by the previous owner. Did a nice job. I temporarily have the soft key disconnected. So the customer put in this new TR relay and it had the wrong resistor in. That's, that's the proper one now, proper value. Uh, the coil is part of the bias circuit, so the coil resistance has to be correct. So, the jumper, well, I guess the, the lead, jumper lead that goes from the relay over to the SO239 that he installed was way too long. Solder joint just broke right off when I touched it at the SO239. SO239 is not flush, didn't deburr the hole, so I'm going to replace that with a brand new one from. Max gain systems also only has two screws, no internal tooth crush washer, lock washers, or cap nut. So, one or the other would have sufficed. So, another problem. See how the you see the jumper lead there? I'll replace that with a nice short one. You see the connection normally. So the uh, normally open and the common, they are almost touching. The leads are almost touching. There's less than a sixteenth of an inch there. So I'll fix that. These new grid resistors, they're the stock ones, new grid caps. And uh, so, problem was, it was just such a weird problem. You turn it on and you're clicking from the transformer, no, or he said you're clicking. So he assumed his transformer actually heard it, and I'm like, oh, what's going on? So, um, so I'm like, what is going on? So the meter on the one I had an SWR pinned backwards. I didn't even try putting it anywhere else. It just was making noise and everything. So come to find out the rotary switch here in the front for the multimeter, there was carbon on top of the switch. So the grid wire and the one going back to the positive side of the meter, they were showing continuity. I'm like, well, this, this is just really weird. So I was like, racking my head around it. I'm like, what? I have another one over here. I'm like comparing everything to another SB200. Uh, so I'm like, what the heck? You know, so I have to fix this wire. That wire was damaged. So I jumped it together. I had to cut the, carefully cut that um, stuff they used to, you know, um, Move them the wires together. It's like that wax stuff. It's like dental floss or whatever. So, I'll fix that and uh, swap this 33 ohm resistor right there. So, uh, yep, that is all set now. And, uh, alright, so I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm not 100% going yet. I can do all this, but talking is a little bit different. So, I'll also replace the parasitic suppressors, and I'm going to swap out that plate blocker. Uh, I just don't want to take a chance. I don't know. I didn't put it in there. I'm just, you know, he's going to go get another one as part of the whole job. So, I'll compress the socket clips. I'll clean the socket clips and change the meter lamp bulb. I'll put in, I temporarily put in a couple of reverse connected diodes across the meter, but I'll put in better ones. I didn't want to be the reason why he lost his... Uh, meter you know so I just don't take any chances and this is getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes awesome company same with Maxine Systems group people over there okay right, so I'm gonna get to work please stay tuned I'll show you the back here the, there's the right there, so. Okay, so. Okay. I clear all the stuff off my bench over here and then I'll get to work okay, see you guys soon stay tuned I forgot to mention something very critical. Okay, so I reconnected the soft key wires. Uh, I did this. This is temporary. I need to lengthen that wire. So this is also not soldered in all the way yet. But so when he put the wrong resistor in, it was actually um so he didn't do it. It had another relay before this relay, which must not have been the which must not have had the correct 
coil resistance. So this one does. So uh, this resistor is the proper, you know, the stock value resistor is the proper resistor. So what happened was this lead on this side was actually jumping these two terminals. He had it bent over and it was touching. So not good. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna do some, and I have to go drink my coffee, and then I'll get back on it. Okay, so stay tuned. I will see you guys soon. Exciting, exciting. Okay. Please like, share, and subscribe. Back with the Heathkit SB200. Customer wanted to see a video of it working on 20 meters, so that's what he gets. One kW slug on PEP going into a bird attenuator load. It's on 20 meters. Settings, high voltage. Radio set to roughly 50 watts. Audio hello, 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 audio hello. 600 on the button, 600 on the button. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello. So the sensitivity's all the way up. Relative power, audio hello. Audio, which is relative. Audio, hello, play current. And great current. Tit, 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 tit. Audio, hello, 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 hello. Just so you can see. Turn that around. No reflect, no reflect, because it's flat. Okay, so that's about it. I'll show you the inside. All the other bands work as they should. Be back soon. With the inside, gonna shoot a quick video here. It's been a long day. Show you what I did. Clean the band switch with deoxy gold, tightened up on a bunch of hardware. Wound brand new parasitic suppressor resistors. Brand new plate blocking capacitor. Brand new meter lamp. Nice meter protection diodes. Resecured the wires to the solder lugs. One broke right off and the other one wasn't soldered well. Also Remove the two outer nuts and tighten up on the inner nuts carefully, and then reinstall the outer nuts. Okay, so I'll, so I'll uh, flip over the bottom, show you the bottom. There's a brand new set of Pentlab tubes. Awesome company. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I'll show you the bottom. I already had the hard block kits. Soft key was damaged when he shorted the wire over there to the other terminal. Uh, the diode got damaged, it was shorted, so I replaced it. Fixed the multimeter switch, replaced that one wire, zip tied everything, replaced this piece of coax because he broke off a bunch of the strands for the center conductor and it was just too short so I just replaced it. I had another stock one brand new. I used super flexible high voltage wire for the output piece going from the relay over to the directional coupler and then braided strap, silver plated strap to go from the input connector to the the input side of the new relay, well the relay that he had installed. I shortened the pass through lead, actually replaced it, and now it's a lot shorter. I resoldered all of the connections on it so they're nice nice. And got a brand new SO239 from Max Gain Systems. I cut down the 632 screws to the proper length and I used kept nuts and I Got a wrench on the ones I could. I put a little piece of heat shrink in there. It's far away from the frame of the relay, but just in case, so it doesn't short. So that relay, I mean, that resistor was fine. I left it alone. It was within tolerance. Caps are okay. Um, touched up on other solder joints, but that resistor in the proper value. Oh, it's just uh, so many little things. So I'll show you the back. I'll bear it back. Here's the the back of the amplifier. I changed the 33 ohm resistors. I always use 2 watt Allen Bradley carbon comp type. You got four connections in each socket. Two are for the filament slash cathode, one is for the grid, and one does nothing. So it's really important to have a strong connection between that grid clip on the socket and the one pin that's connected to the grid in the tube. So I compressed all four socket clips ever so carefully. I cleaned them with deoxy gold. 
put deoxycold on a spare tube on the pins and I slide it in and out a bunch of times. So change the 200 puff cap for the grid connection to ground. I fix solder joints for the filament choke. I re-soldered the soft key wire to the filament connection. I cleaned the input rotor switch with deoxygold. I touched up on a couple of the input slugs for the input circuit tuning. I replaced the SO239 as I said before and you can see it's a nice pretty one from Max Gain Systems. Someone already replaced the RCA jack for the relay uh, to key it, the antenna relay jack to key it and that is good. So, and I checked the output SO239, it's nice and tight. So, that's about it. If you need an amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119, and the front of the amp is on bubble wrap. So, um, I worked on it over on the rubber mat over there. So, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And that's my dog laying on the floor. He's my buddy. So, Hope everyone has a great day. I think the next stamp will be an Ameritron AL811H. So, thanks for watching. 73.